in our days it was laurel and hardy which is making us laugh a lot of the charlie chaplin and now i think you all have been which is interesting you a lot stan laurel born in 16 june 1819 who was born in the united kingdom died in 23rd february 1965 in california the united states was an english comic actor writer and film director who was one half of the comedy duo laurel and hardy stan laurel said you can lead a horse to water but a pencil must be led <laughs> We have heard that you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make him drink. But this is totally different ideology of Stan Laurel. But a pencil must be led. What a beautiful inner thinking! What a beautiful meditative, medicinal quote. Only a person who can laugh. Such a philosophy. such gospel of truth flows from his mouth when you laugh means you empty your cup you go to a, a zen master and the first thing they look is whether you are come with an empty cup if your cup is not cleaned and previous day's coffee is there little and you ask the master for fresh coffee even the coffee what is given by the master also you will feel it is spoiled one so your cup empty is very important hence laurel and hardy's uh laughter which made the whole world including us uh, laugh yes and laughter is the greatest medicine because it is more powerful sometimes than the meditation because meditation you have to sit here you can move and you can empty your cup a zen master to get into a zen master's room is very difficult so professor was writing letters of the letters asking for an appointment out of 5 years he got an appointment to meet the zen master and when he reached the zen master's room he was seated but the professor was asking questions of the questions of the questions of the questions because the professor must have prepared so many questions he doesn't know when will be the next interview so he thought the first time when i got a chance let me ask as much questions as possible from the to the zen master zen master got up he put the kettle into the fire and he started boiling the water then he took a cup and saucer he put the gave the cup to the professor and started pouring the tea into the cup the cup was filled it was overflowing and it was almost filling out to fall down the professor screamed master master said what he said the cup is overflowing and the zen master said he said the cup is overflowing your mind is overflowing <laughs> When you come to the master, come come with the cup empty. Did you come to take something from me, or you wanted to throw all your rubbish into me? <laughs> It's almost like that. You can lead a horse to water, <laughs> but a pencil must be led. A pencil, you need your brain. You need to write, and that was the collapse of many many traditions. many many pyramids and families and they are not conscious about it when a girl gets married and is she sent to the husband's house she is a pencil and pencil must be led means they need minimum 5 years to train her to make to take the pencil and write she can now write and the husband's house are thinking that she can write that was the greatest mistake once you lead it the pencil can write many stories yes but somebody has to hold it you can lead a horse to water but a pencil must be led yes every child must be led it's like a pencil yes the parents have to take it and write it and keep writing and writing that is got a connecting link to the family
they love relations of the family and every time the pencil is written the sharpening goes on and you have to keep sharpening every time you have to every child knows if you sharpen it the writing looks so beautiful so people are thinking once you got something you do not have to go back to your family you do not have to go back to father and mother because what you heard from the very first day is totally different from the same what they're telling you understand after five years more better ten years much more better and later on it is just a philosophy it's a gospel truth you understand the jew is so powerful the sharpening is very very important do not forget that the family kept, keeps on sharpening it can be the same pencil same pencil but if it sharpens it up it must have come from the same material but the sharpening is very important so that you can write and the family makes the child write yes and continues to write and sharpens it up it, it, it includes the, fa the family as well as the child also. Both together, yin and yang, positive and negative, only can create electricity. Once the child gets a little education, parents think, oh, they know much better than us, so we do not have to advise. No, 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 no. I still remember my grandmother, I was climbing that mango tree. And on one of the branch, when I was on the one of the branch, she said, be careful. I looked at her and said, can you keep your mouth shut, please? And very next moment, the branch broke. I felt a boom on my back. <laughs> so even then, my grandmother never leaves telling. I was taking my motorbike and was going. My father said, on the way, somebody waves at you. Don't wave because you might lead with an accident. I said, can you please shut your mouth? And my mom came in between and said, why are you both every time fighting? I went. In the motorbike that time I was teaching martial arts so I was going and somebody on the side said oh shh I turned around to say oh shh and boo, I heard some sound two three cars came and said did you tell your mother before coming out of the house shout I remembered I twice the sharpening is very important every 15 minutes when Shahrukh Khan said I went to Delhi in an apartment and the security guy refused to allow me and said I want to meet my friend and I told him, look, I am Shah Rukh Khan. And he said, uh, so what? Uh, I cannot leave you in said unless you have an appointment or a letter or something like that. But he, Shah Rukh Khan told the security guard, it seems, I am Shah Rukh Khan, the famous film actor. And the security guard said, let it be whoever you are, I don't care. <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan was shocked. Shah Rukh Khan said, I am so popular. And the security guard doesn't know. So every 15 minutes, 16 minutes, they forget. So I had to keep on putting money into the publicity to make sure I am on the limelight. If they can think of sharpening the pencil, why don't you think? 15, 16 minutes, you have to sharpen your pencil. Stan Laurel understood. So every 16 minutes, you make people laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And that's it. You have now laughter clubs. Please love that sharpening makes the family so strong. That sharpening makes your class, every subject so powerful for you to understand. That game makes you happy. That sharpening in your factories and companies makes you happy. A, a leader should lead and not yield pressure. The, the leader should make sure oh, once you become a leader, MLM, MP or a minister, he thinks I do not have to go to people. You have to go to every house and you have to sharpen the pencil of theirs as well as yours. And not only sharpen it up, you have to take it in your hand and write it for them, write it for them. With that writing, you can always find when the climate comes, I'm talking to you about everyday moving. So you can know from one condition to another, come weather conditions, you know, the rain is about to come, you know. You make the drains all cleared up along with them. Clear up along with them. Take the pencil. Take them along with you and clean up the drains. Not an, a stranger. So the water flows beautifully in ponds and rivers. Yes. And into the um, uh, borewell recharging pit. Into the check dams. And the people have got enough water. There's no water problems. Yes. When rain comes. When, sun, when it is hot. You make sure that uh, the um, water reaches to every people in the cities and the solar has been utilized. That is how you lead it. Stan Laurel said, you can lead a horse to water, but a pencil must be lead. Lead, take the pencil and hold it in the hand. That is a love relationship. Hold the pencil. Your wife is a pencil. Your husband is a pencil. Child is a pencil. Hold it every time. Every day, morning, afternoon, whenever you meet also. I don't know. Hold it. 
morning or evening night, when you see a person, why do you say namaste? Why do you say osh? That continuous osh and namaste is power. You can. That I can is the richness. That I can is your power. That I can is your health. And you become a leader to lead. <laughs>